just woke us up and um, my alarm went off like five minutes after so just had to get up. All right so I think it's like 5 30. What time is it? 5 30? It's 5 35 and I'm out of here. I gotta go. I'm running late. I, meant, I wanted to be at the gym by 5 35 but I'm super lagging today. Um, so I got my bags, I got my meals, I got my clothes to change into so I can shower and um, get into work. So I'm about to take off. Love you babe. Love you. I'll see you later. Say bye. Bye. Yvonne and Brian, you're in my YouTube video. They're doing cardio right now. <laughs> They're the early birds. That's my morning Snapchat from Brian. He's uh, the Guam bomb. If, you know, if you're in Hawaii and you don't follow him, you should. He's a, he's a bodybuilder here. He's a 24-hour uh, master trainer. And I'm good friends with him. He's a part of the Shred Life Apparel and Hardcore Queen Eats Full Circle. Um, and then I'm really good friends with his wife. And their names are the Guam bomb and Yvonne Monique. Hey, it's about 5.52 a.m. Mom just took off for the gym. I, uh, I just came back. I kind of rushed around to take a shower, get dressed, and pack up the stuff before I get my son up and take him to school. Uh, what I take to work with me is my post-workout meal, some eggs and white rice. I like to pack up my stuff before I wake up my son because then he kind of gets cranky and starts running around the house and is a little, makes it a little bit harder to get ready in the morning. So I'm going to pack up his stuff really quick and then go wake him up and we'll get ready to go to work. All right, so I just woke up my little man. Uh, just gonna throw the last things in our bag. You know, my wife mentioned it before, but we wait until we get to where we're going before we change him or put clothes on him. If it's a long ride, because he tends to throw up all over everything in the car. He just gets motion sickness really bad. So, Cruz, say good morning. That hot dog is not anywhere near as big as I thought it was going to be. Oh my gosh, that's like a weak little hot dog. I know. So here we are on Epic Cheat Meal Day. And as you can see, my plate's not even there because that shit disappeared real fast. Crew's doing work. <laughs> and then there's mommy. I'm What's the deal, mommy? It, my stomach kind of hurts. Her stomach hurts. <laughs> it's a lot of food. And I, I want to save room for ice cream. She wants to save room for ice cream. This has Oreos, almonds, brownie, fudge, mint chocolate chip, and a cherry and whatever this is like whipped cream. Everything. You better not fucking zoom out on me. <laughs> <laughs> I look such like a haggard mess right now. You better stop. Don't be a douche. Don't even try to act look like I this ate little lady did. <laughs> so I knew you were gonna do that. This is like my first fight. She don't fuck around when it comes to epic cheat meal. <laughs> Gotta see that gut. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. Actually my rest day today, so I had some time to sleep in and to get myself ready at a slow pace. Uh, made my breakfast, had my coffee, actually curled my hair today, so I'm feeling good. I have a hard time taking rest days, but um, I'm slowly realizing that they are needed. <laughs> I've been fighting them I mean, ever since I started lifting. It's been a struggle of mine to take rest, but um, 
I do I do find that I need them and then when I do take my rest days I feel so much better so I'll go ahead and give you guys a quick uh, physique update not a whole lot has changed obviously it's only been a week but this is what we're looking at so I'm sitting at I think 123 right now still and I'm still I mean kind of I kind of just I feel like not a whole lot is changing um, the only difference is like I have been able to take um, two refeeds in which is nice because I got to have some dirty refeeds so I got like burgers fries and ice cream which is really nice so this is kind of where I'm at I have, I have five and a half weeks out I think at this point so not terrible I'm kind of just maintaining at this point it's too too close like I'm not gonna be able to put on the muscle that I want to that just comes with time so I've, I've kind of accepted that um, I used to kind of get really down because I stay so lean and like I have a hard time putting on muscle so I tend to feel too skinny all the time and um, just like you know some people have a hard time putting or taking weight off of them I have a hard time putting weight on me so and by weight I mean muscle because I could easily go gain weight but um, so I'm just doing it slow and steady and just kind of doing lean bulking here and there and then um, I kind of jumped into this prep six weeks after my last prep so that's definitely not enough time to put on any quality muscle so I'm having to kind of accept that that's the decision I made and um, try to figure out what am I going to do on my next show so if I do well do I just go and start training for a national show or should I just take some time off to build some quality muscle so those are some decisions that I'm kind of thinking about right now but work I gotta leave in like 20 minutes but um, just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Not a whole lot has changed. What's up, guys? What up? It's uh, Saturday, and it's the 28th. <laughs> I just, he just told me the it's date. It's the 30th. It's the 30th. But it's YouTube struggles to remember the day every day, okay? Because it's been kind of a busy week for us. But we're doing good. Don't hit me, Van. Uh, we're doing good. We are, I'm five weeks out and he's 15 weeks out. And we don't know what we weigh because our scales has, it's died. So we're gonna go. Like four days. Yeah. So we're gonna go get a new scale right now. And we're on our way to go get a um, MacBook Pro so that we can um, have more storage because my computer sucks. And. I decided to, the... to do my cut a little early. Instead of the end of August, I'm starting August 6th. So exactly a week from now he's gonna be miserable a week in a day that's gonna be a 14 week cut so <sighs> well that should be interesting so i'm already hungry all the time yeah and i'm he's eating 4400 calories bulky. a day like i can't stop eating well i can because i have to but I'm, <laughs> I'm never satisfied with my food yeah and i'm eating over 4,000 calories a day oh. so it's gonna be rough for me yep i have a spartan race that i'm gonna do in the next couple of weeks and three weeks from that that's just I'm something I'm doing for fun though. What else is new? I start uh, my personal trainer position. I've been waiting to start till August 6th, so I start that a week from today, which I'm really excited about. Oh. Things are about to get cray. They're already cray. They are cray. They're but already we're, fucking we're cray. We're doing alright. It's just like transitions here and there and everywhere, and then we decide to compete on top of it, so it's like even more, but whatever. So um, aside from that, my calendar came out today. So if you're in Hawaii, um, you can pick up a calendar. I, I um, was a part of a project for my friend Danny. Um, I'll link her Instagram and her website and all that stuff below. But yeah, I missed January, so that's pretty cool. So has anything else changed? I mean, it's only been a week, so yeah. prep is good. I still, I'm on two refeeds right now. We obviously haven't killed each other or one another yet. Yeah, we're doing okay. <laughs> See how long that lasts. All right, let's go get this computer.